Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. Today, we are going to be going over my recent grocery haul from Trader Joe's. But before we get into the video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing. And comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into this grocery haul. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but I mean, we're going with it. I'm not, I'm not redoing it. I just came back from Trader Joe's and I bought basically stuff to kind of last me a week or two, basically like two weeks, essentially. I'm going to show you everything that I got at Trader Joe's. I'm also going to show you some things that I got over the past few weeks from other grocery stores since I haven't really done a grocery haul in such a long time. So I'm going to show you that now. One of them being this vegan meatless pizza from Trader Joe's. Still haven't tried it. I'm, you know, it's plant-based, so I'm hoping it's really good. And I also got kale. It's really loud in the freezer. And spinach to kind of help with my leafy greens because I've been just doing a lot of frozen vegetables and I'm like I need something fresh but I like to be able to freeze it so it doesn't go bad in case I don't use it like quickly and then obviously from Whole Foods I got the dairy-free cool house um, ice cream sandwich in the horchata I also got it in the cookies and cream as well the dairy-free and yeah this one's like my favorite so is the, the horchata is my favorite too. But I have two horchatas, one cookies and cream. And everything is just falling. And then I re-upped on my Peruvian burrito from Whole Foods. And then I have like some frozen bananas in my reusable bags here. Let's see what else I got. I also got this chocolate. This is one of my favorite chocolate bars. Um, that I get from Whole Foods. It's by Evolved. It's the oatmeal cookie dough one. It's really good and it's vegan and yeah, it's like ethically sourced, which I, you know, y'all know I'm trying to be more sustainable and ethical in my purchases. I went to the store, they didn't have uh, any milk left. So I got the Califia um, coconut and almond milk blend and it has zero sugar, uh, no soy, yeah i mean it's vegan it's kosher gluten-free trying to see what else yeah i mean plant-based as per use and then also got my favorite pineapple coconut drink i just i love juice but this is just a way for me to like really stay hydrated and make sure that i'm getting like good fruit intake so I'll drink about a cup of that every day or every other day. Kind of just depends on where my sweet tooth is lying. And then let's see. So I love lemon cookies. I love lemon flavored things. And I literally got this the other day. I literally got this the other day from Whole Foods. It's Tate's, which is really good. And it's their lemon um, cookie. Yeah crispy thin it's not super overpowering which i like and then i'm trying to see what else is in here i went to i love shopping at world market and they had this lemonade that i thought i would try i honestly might have this today yeah i might, I might as well just go for it today so i think that's what i'm gonna have and then i always have the um safe harvest their clam chowder is my favorite, but they only had the salmon uh, chowder, so I went for this. It's good, too, but the clam chowder just has a little bit more flavor, so I have to flavor that one um, just a little bit, you know, season it. And that's pretty much it in terms of things that I've gotten in the past few weeks that are not really from Trader Joe's. They're from, like, Whole Foods and Trader Joe's and maybe Natural Grocers or Target or something like that. Um... Yeah, from a variety of places. Now, 
I'm going to show you everything that I got from Trader Joe's and let's just get into it. All right, first things first, I got the soap I need soap. I personally like bar soap. So I re-upped on this. It smells great. It lasts a long time and it's pretty affordable. I think it's like $2.99. So, and it's like pretty, it's like an inch. It's pretty thick. Then I got my organic ground turkey. I've been really loving the um, pre-cooked turkey meatballs. So I've been having that on a weekly basis. You all already know I have my ginger and turmeric shots along with my health aid kombucha in the tropical punch because this is for, you know, gut health, immunity health. Like it's just so good. And also my, I also got my organic cold pressed juice beverage which it tells you on the side here, like all of the ingredients with little pictures, which I find really, really nice. But yeah, I typically start my mornings with a cup of this a day. So I already have one in the fridge. I just needed one so it can last me the following week, essentially. And then these are my favorites. I've been loving this from Trader Joe's. It's the country potatoes with the haricot verts and wild mushrooms. Like it's so delicious. And I just add a little bit of seasoning because you honestly don't need that much seasoning with this. Um, just a little bit and you are set. And I also got, you know, the green vegetable foursome. Love this when I don't really want to like chop up, you know, zucchinis and um, broccoli and stuff. I can just get it frozen. So got that one bag because I have, you know, quite a bit of vegetables in the freezer already. And for my fresh ones, because I want to get back into like just having a little bit more fresh um, vegetables, I got some radishes. I love radishes. Haven't had them in a long time, so I thought I would try this. And I'm going to roast it alongside these carrots as well. And I think I'm going to drizzle some honey on top um, so they have like a little bit of like a sweet and savory um, feel to them because I'm also going to like cover them in you know herbs and spices and stuff like that and then drizzle a little bit of um, honey and then I thought I would have it with the goat cheese so all of this I'm going to have kind of together along with I think my salmon um, which is why I got the lemon it's always for the salmon because I like my salmon very citrusy like I am going to use this entire, and this is a large lemon and I have large hands, but I'm going to use this entire lemon for these four, um, fillets essentially. And then I re-upped on my plantain chips as well as my plant-based snack rinds. These are just so good. And it's like the perfect amount of spice. It's really replaced hot Cheetos. I mean, I can't have hot Cheetos anymore, but this is just... It's really good. It's not like, you know, nose dripping spicy, which is what I prefer personally, but I really like it. And then eggs, cause you know, I like to have me some hard boiled eggs. My Magnificence, which is a favorite. I put this almost on everything. I already have some uh, applesauce fruit crushers in my pantry. So I just wanted to have one for the following week cause I have these almost every day. And then lastly, I got, they said they were like shamrock um, flowers, so I got that, and ranunculus, ranunc ranunculus, I'm really bad at saying the name, but you can, you can see the name here, um, there, that's, that's what I got, I got them in yellow, and then here, these are, oh, apparently they're sweet Amazon, at Trader Joe's they were saying it was like the shamrock something, it's like purple shamrocks, and I was like, oh, cool, I'll get those. All right, and that is everything for my grocery haul. I am now gonna watch 2125, which is a K-drama, as well as I think Business Proposal might be out, or that might be out on Monday and Tuesday, as well as what else am I gonna watch? It's this weather Korean drama, and I can't, I, I can't remember the name, but they have like weekly episodes that are new and then last kingdom came out recently so i got a lot of shows to watch and it's a sunday i'm just really trying to take things slow not trying to do too much you know what i'm saying so yeah i also need to like water my plants oh besides this being grocery haul 
I finally went to Ikea and I bought this really cute um, watering can. I wanted one that was a little bit like a smaller stout. So it's like more like easy to water, um, more concentrated. Do you know what I'm saying? Because the one that I had is currently this vase. I'm using it as a vase, but it's like water can get everywhere. And so I thought, a, you know, skinnier, like more pointed stout would be better. Stout might not be the right word. I feel like it is, but I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to check in with y'all in another video. But if you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing. And comment down below. Say hi. I say hi back. And without any further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.